Enter its gates with thanksgiving in your hearts. Enter its courts with praise. Enter its gates with thanksgiving in your hearts. For he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. Jesus has made me glad. Enter his courts with thanksgiving in your hearts, for he has made me glad. Sing to the Lord and make music unto him. Sing to the Lord with joy. Sing to the Lord and make music unto him. For, For he, he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. Jesus has made me glad. Enter his courts with thanksgiving in your hearts. For he has made me glad. Praise the Lord. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Father, we praise you. Father, we praise you. Jesus, we praise you. Jesus, we praise you. Holy Spirit, God, we praise you. Holy Spirit of God, we praise you. Holy Trinity, we worship you. Holy Trinity, we worship you. We glorify you. We glorify you. We adore you. We adore you. We love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. You. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear brothers, sisters and friends in Jesus Christ, a very good morning to all of you and hearty welcome to this Holy Eucharistic celebration. Every Holy Eucharistic celebration is a celebration of God's infinite love for each one of us. We celebrate God's love, God's life and Holy Eucharist is a thanksgiving celebration. It is a thanksgiving worship. And today, therefore, I invite all of you to this Holy Eucharist. Wherever you are, close your eyes, kneel down or sit, and with great devotion, participate in this Holy Mass. Today, Wednesday, a day dedicated to St. Joseph, the universal patron of the Catholic Church. So let us seek his intercession as well as the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary. Let us offer this Holy Mass for all our personal as well as communitarian intentions and petitions. Pray for our society, our founder, Father Christuras, and all the members. And also pray for Russian and Ukrainian war be stopped and peace may be negotiated. And also for our personal intentions, also intentions of our near and dear ones, our loved ones. And especially pray for Sister Catherine, who will be undergoing surgery that it may be successful and she may gain speedy recovery. For all these intentions, let us offer this Holy Mass. O Lord, hear my voice, for I have called to you. Be my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father Almighty, the communion, friendship, and fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers, one of the distinguished features or characteristics or virtues or qualities of a Christian is to love as well as to forgive. Forgiveness is one of the greatest virtues that every Christian should have 
ought to have, need to have, and must have. If you are not able to forgive your brothers and sisters, and how can you expect Jesus to forgive you? Or how can you expect God's forgiveness and mercy when you and I don't show mercy, don't forgive our brothers and sisters? Saint Mother Teresa of Kolkata says, Before the infinite mercy and grace of God, your many sins are only this much. But you have to repent for your sins. You have to ask forgiveness for your sins. And not only that, you have to also forgive and pray for the people, those who harm you, those who do injustice to you, those who persecute you. And that's what Jesus tells in one sentence, love your enemies. Today, we are called, we are invited to love our enemies. To that extent, even a person has done harm to you, caused pain and suffering or disasters in your life. Yet in the name of Jesus, taking the name of Jesus, being like Jesus, you and I are invited and given opportunity, chance by Jesus to forgive and to love our enemies. Loving enemies is really, humanly speaking, difficult. But remember, my dear brothers and sisters, I say always, from the perspective of Jesus, looking at Jesus, and in the name of Jesus, it is very easier and possible. It may be difficult, but it is easier and possible to forgive and to love. To that extent, those who have harmed us. And that's what Jesus says, love your enemies. And this, if you do, you and I will be perfect. And that's what Jesus is asking today. Be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. In the first reading, we have Anub who committed sins, went against or went far away from God, astray from God. And God wanted to bring disaster. But by the prayer and by the repentance, he is not meting out the evil that he had planned. Therefore, today let us ask ourselves, where do I stand? What is my life here on earth? How far have I been grown in the virtue of forgiveness? Is there any person whom I have not forgiven, whom I hate? Is there any person against whom I have still kept a grudge or hatred feeling in my heart? If is it so, today is the time, now is the time, now is the opportunity to pray for that person, to forgive that person and receive Jesus' forgiveness or God's forgiveness for ourselves. For the time you and I have failed, you and I have not practiced the virtue of forgiveness, we have not loved our enemies. Let us feel sorry, ask God's pardon and mercy that we may be worthy enough to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to, to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive all our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 
you were sent to heal the contrite of heart lord have mercy on us lord have mercy on us you came to call all sinners to repentance christ have mercy on us christ have mercy on us you are seated at the right hand of the father almighty to intercede for us lord have mercy on us lord have mercy on us let us pray o god strength of those who hope in you graciously hear our pleas and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing grant us always the help of your grace that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen a reading from the book the first book of the kings the word of the lord came to elijah the tisbitite saying arise go down to meet abba king of israel who is in samaria behold he is in the vineyard of naboth where he has gone to take possession and you shall say to him thus says the lord have you killed and also taken the possession and you shall say to him thus says the lord the place where go in the place where dogs licked up the blood of naboth shall dogs lick your own blood abak said to elijah have you found me o my enemies he answered i have found you because you have sold yourself to do what is evil in the sight of the lord behold i will bring evil upon you i will utterly sweep sweep you away and will cut off from abba every male born or free in the israel and i will make your house like the house of jerom and the son of nabat and like the house of basha the son of aja for the for the anger of which you have provoked me and because you have made israel to sin and zebel the lord also said the dogs shall eat zebels within the bones of zebel any one belonging to abak who dies in the city the dogs shall eat and any one of his who dies in the open country the birds of the air shall eat and when abba heard those words he rent his clothes and put sackcloth upon his flesh and fasted and lay in sackcloth and went out about dejectedly and the word of the lord came to elijah the disciple saying have you seen how abak has humbled himself before me because he has humbled himself before me i will not bring the evil in his days but in his son's days i will bring the evil upon his house the word of the lord thanks be, be to god, god. let your response be have mercy lord for we have sinned have, have mercy lord for we have sinned have mercy on me god in your kindness in your compassion bolt out my offenses oh wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sins have mercy lord for we have sinned your response have, have mercy, mercy lord, us, lord for we have, for we have sinned, sinned. my offenses truly i know them my sin is always before me against you you alone have i sinned what is evil in your high sight i have done have mercy lord for we have sinned your have response mercy, lord, lord for we, we have sinned. sinned from my sins turn away your face and bolt out all my guilt o rescue me god my helper and my tongue shall ring out your goodness have mercy lord for we have sinned have mercy lord, lord for, for we, we have, have sinned. sinned gospel acclamation 
Your words Lord are spirit and life you have the words of eternal life Hallelujah 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew glory to you o lord gospel according to saint matthew chapter 5 the holy verses from 43 to 48 chapter 5 the holy verses from 43 to 48 jesus said to his disciples You have heard that it was said you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy but I said to you love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you so that you may be sons of your father who is in heaven for he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good and sends rain on the just and on the unjust for if you love those who love you what reward have you do not even the tax collectors do the same and if you salute only your brethren what more are you doing than others do not even the gentiles do the same you therefore must be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ my dear brothers sisters and friends in jesus christ as i have said in the introduction forgiveness is one of the godly virtues forgiveness is one of the most important virtues every christian should possess every christian should have must have ought to have and need to have because as christians we bear the name of christ we bear the name of jesus christ or we are the christ bearers then if we bear the name that's not enough you have to become like christ you have to act like christ you have to do like christ you have to speak like christ think like christ behave like christ and much more than that you have to give christ to others show christ to others and become christ to others and this is possible only when you and i practice the virtue of forgiveness the virtue of loving and praying for the people even those who have harmed us those who have hurt us or those who have caused pain suffering to us my dear brothers and sisters it is not that we are unable to forgive it is not that we are not interested to forgive but it is the devil it is the satanic forces it is the evil of the world that makes us 
not to forgive others and how it makes us because we build our relationship with the evil one or the satanic forces or the flesh of this world by going astray from jesus or by cutting relationship our relationship with jesus and then slowly the world pulls us pulls us towards itself and there comes the revengeful attitude avenging attitude today most of us suffer from high sugar blood pressure or because of tension maybe psychological disorder or mental trauma bp sugar all such kinds of diseases and sicknesses coming why because you have not forgiven someone you have still kept the grudge feeling the ha- the hatred feelings in your heart and that's what makes you to suffer or undergo many kinds of physical ailments my dear brothers and sisters since you have not forgiven you are not experiencing miracles or wonders in your life since you have not reconciled with your brothers and sisters you are not able to live in peace you are not able to live in happiness you are not able to live in joy you don't experience don't get or gain the real joy of christ peace of christ in every mass the priest say peace be with you and you give the answer and also with your spirit and let us offer each other the sign of peace or christ peace not the peace of priest but peace of christ himself only it is rubric only it is time table or only it is the rites that we are practicing have you ever reflected have you ever asked examined that this peace is given by christ himself and how am i sharing that peace with others how am i sharing that joy of christ with others only by loving only through love only through forgiveness you and i can do my dear brothers and sisters look at jesus we read always i caught luke chapter 23 verse 34 father forgive them for they do not know what they are doing when someone hurts you someone harms you someone speaks ill of you or maybe someone has done character assassination about you or someone has really caused a great damage to you are you able to say jesus lord forgive this brother or sister of mine for he or she does not know what he or she is doing or what he or she has done are you able to say this or have you ever prayed for that person have you ever taken a step to love that person have you ever taken the step to forgive that person my dear brothers and sisters let me remind you who can forgive who can forgive only a courageous person only a bold person only a person who is filled with the spirit of christ who is filled with the spirit of anointing only can forgive but if a person is not courageous enough not bold enough or if he or she is not filled with the spirit of christ not filled with the anointing of christ then they will be fearful they will be afraid they will be frightened to forgive someone or frightened to go before his or her adversary to say i am sorry my dear brother and sister forgive me or i forgive you in the name of christ in hindi we say darpak wo hai jo dusro ko maaf nahi kar sakta dusre ko maaf hi nahi dega wo darpak hai lekin जो साहसी है जिसके पास दम है शक्ति है जो शक्तिशाली है जो बलशाली है 
वो हमेशा दूसरों के सामने जाकर दूसरे को माफी देगा दूसरे को माफ कर देगा क्षमा कर देगा दस वा टू इसे इन हिंदी एंड दे फॉर इफ यू एंड आई आर बेरिंग द नेम ऑफ क्राइस्ट देन वी शुड बी एबल टू फॉगिव एज क्राइस्ट हज फॉगिवन एज जीसस हज फॉगिवन जीसस इज सो पावरफुल सो करेजियस दैट ही एक्सेप्टेड डेथ हाउ मेनी ऑफ अस वुड हैव accepted death knowingly that i am going to be brutally murdered brutally killed i am going to be strip uh, i am going to suffer and undergo sufferings passion and i am crucifixion knowingly and i am going to be thrown away thrown out from this world going to be executed going to be mocked jeered sneered knowingly how many of us would have accepted but see jesus how humbly how joyfully how courageously he accepted and not even that after accepting that while he is hanging on the cross already he is being crucified and already he is being made naked they stripped of his garments and that is the time Jesus is showing the perfect the best the infinite mercy of God love of God by forgiving them as well as by praying for they are his murderers and not only that we read in the same gospel of Luke he is even forgiving the penitent and promising an immediate immediate what heaven immediately today just now right now you will be in parad you will be with me in paradise you will be with me in heaven and that's what jesus christ is our master our lord our savior he has done my dear friends my dear people of god but how many of us are really doing really practicing that is the question to be asked and to be reflected upon most of the time because of grudge feeling because of revengeful attitude because of avenging attitude avenging mind we most of us are suffering from all kinds of physical ailments or diseases and sicknesses as i have mentioned in the beginning and that will make us fearful frightened it will never make us courageous bold and what is the characteristic of devil not forgiving having suffering and pain not living in peace sometimes most of us not able to sleep well many people make phone call and tell me father we are not able to sleep well we are not getting sleep we are not at peace father disturbance is there father why because still you have not forgiven someone and therefore holy spirit is there not there in your hearts holy spirit is missing in your heart what is present in your heart is the evil spirit and the trick of the devil you know it will make you to suffer it will make you to get angry it will make you to feel sorrowful depressed all sorts and all revengeful attitudes it will put in your hearts and minds and you will tomorrow you will gnash your teeth or grind your teeth and show your frown face and will say let me show who am i and ultimately that will lead you to revengeful action re revengeful deed my dear brothers and sisters but if holy spirit is present then you will experience peace you will experience serenity you will experience joy and happiness if you want to happen miracles and wonders in your life my dear brothers and sisters forgive your enemies love your enemies pray for the person who has hurt you who has harmed you and who has caused pain to you then definitely i can write and give you i can give you in black and white that you will experience miracles in your life you will experience wonders in your life you will experience good health in your life you will experience success in all that you do you will experience peace and joy harmony in your life 
my dear brothers and sisters. But if you don't forgive, then that's it. Devil will take you away from the presence of God. My dear brothers and sisters, today the Lord is asking us. He has given us an opportunity to love one another, to forgive one another, to help one another, to stand by one another, to support one another, and much more than that, to love our enemies, the so-called enemies. Nobody's enemy, my dear brothers and sisters. God has created us as his own children, as his own sons and daughters, as his own friends, as his own brothers and sisters. But we create enmity. We become enemy to someone or because of our dealing, because of our lack of love, because of our lack of forgiveness, the other person turns to be our enemy, my dear brothers and sisters. Because Christian is the one who bears the name of Christ and the one who loves and forgives. Even the other day I was telling Sukhminder Singh, the one who killed or murdered Blessed Sister Rani Maria says, only Christian can forgive. Nobody else can forgive. Only Christian is the one who can forgive. But today, let us ask ourselves, no doubt, many times, our friends or our family members or our neighbors, maybe our authorities or our friends, our companions must have harmed us must have hurt us. But have you ever tried to forgive them? Have you ever tried to pray for them? And as we read in Matthew chapter 5 verse 23, when someone has done some wrong to you, someone has caused some pain to you, have you ever gone and asked pardon and reconciled with that person? That most of the time what we say, I have not done. It is not my mistake. He has done. She has done. He or she should ask forgiveness. He or she should come and say sorry to me and get reconciled with me. That is your way of thinking. Your way of understanding. Your way of interpreting. Your way of think, uh, speaking about all this. But listen to Jesus. What he says, Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 23. If your brother and sister has done to you, it is not that you have done, my dear brothers and sisters. Listen carefully. It is not that you have done, but he or she has done, yet, nevertheless, it is you who have to go and ask pardon, ask forgiveness, and get reconciled with that brother and sister. But we always understand the opposite. I have no... I have not done anything. The wrong is their fault. The wrong is their fault. They should say sorry. They should ask for forgiveness. Why do I go? Why do I do? I have no fault. I have not done anything. 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 I should ask for forgiveness. I should ask for forgiveness. I should ask for forgiveness. लेकिन प्रभु यीशु मसीह यीशु क्रिस्ट क्या कहते हैं हां मैं जानता हूं कि आपका भाई और आपकी बहन आपको चोट पहुंचाया है धोखा दिया है फिर भी आपको जाके उनसे क्षमा मांगनी है दैट्स व्हाट जीसस इज टीचिंग माय डियर ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स एंड फॉरगिवनेस इज ग्रेटेस्ट वैल्यू एंड अनदर थिंग if you are courageous enough only you will be able to forgive. If you are a coward person, no, not at all possible. All excuses, all reasons, many reasons, plenty of reasons will come not to forgive. And my dear brothers and sisters, today's first reading, one point is very interesting. What is that? Even if you have committed lots of sins, if you humble before God, if you repent, before God, he will forgive. We know the story about Jonah. 
when he preached at Nineveh god had planned to destroy to overthrow Nineveh to put an end everything but when jonah preached they repented and god relented god did not bring the disaster upon that city but forgave and today's first reading also same thing when they repented the king repented god did not bring the disaster therefore i said my dear brothers and sisters repentance also is a must repentance also is a greatest virtue that we have to inculcate we have to have it as christians none of us can say i have not committed any sins or i am not sinful i am holy i am righteous i am pious i have never committed any sin then we will become a greatest liars because each moment each second each minute each day we do commit sin but god is there jesus is there with outstretched arm to forgive us to love us to hug us to kiss us but how many of us really take a daring step to go to jesus and say lord i am sorry forgive me i am sorry for my sin please forgive me how many of us are doing how many of us are saying we read in the gospel of luke chapter 18 verse 9 onwards the example of the tax collector and the pharisee the tax collector did not even dare to look up heaven but beating his chest or breast telling lord be merciful to me a sinner how many of us are saying that doing that let us introspect upon ourselves and therefore we read in romans 3 10 and as well as 23 no one is righteous no one is holy not even one but we think i am all the best i am all in all all is well with me those who think all is well with me i am sorry all is not well with them because we know the devil knows to quote the scripture very well and devil can put this thing hey, all is well with you man why you are listening to that uh, priest say, preaching you are listening reading that bible listening to that things those thing devil will put because the devil is very well knows to quote the scripture so it can put same thing and then we will think i am holy i am all pious all righteous no my dear brothers and sisters we are sinners and we need god's mercy and forgiveness and to receive that we need to have repentance we need to repent as in the first reading of today we have heard so they went against god committed sin lot of sin but and god said since you have done i am going to bring the disaster upon you i am going to finish you up but only one sentence only a sentence that is repentance only one word of repentance god relented everything god forgave but remember only receiving forgiveness is not enough you have to also give that forgiveness show that forgiveness to others and therefore i always quote and say god gives 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 and forgives man gets 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 and forgets and that's what we read in the gospel of matthew chapter 18 verse 23 onwards the parable of the unforgiving servant he was in debt for 1000 denarii 1000 times bible says he and his wife children together all who have been sold till they pay the last penny but when he repented he begged for mercy he received mercy forgiveness he was set free along with his family but after going there what he did just for 100 denarii of a fellow servant he throttled him he caught his neck beating him punishing him and putting him in the jail 
Now what was the consequence? What was the outcome? He thought that time, main hero ban gaya. I became hero now. That fellow became zero. No, my dear friends. No, no, not at all. Never. Finally, when matter was repeat to, re reported to the master, he was thrown into the outer darkness where there will be gnashing and gnashing of teeth, grind, grinding of teeth, where there will be weeping and mourning. And let that not happen to you and to me. Today the Lord has given us an opportunity. Today the Lord has given us chances to amend our ways, to come back to Jesus, to become like Jesus, to give Jesus, I always say the maxim, give Jesus, live Jesus, love Mary. My dear brothers and sisters, forgiveness, okay, I understand humanly speaking, may be difficult but remember divinely speaking from the perspective of Jesus it is easier and possible it may be difficult but remember it is not impossible my dear brothers and sisters how many of us take a daring step to love our enemies I don't think so including me perhaps we all are standing in the same boat. Sometimes therefore it is said, it is very easy to say, but very difficult to do or practice. Bolna bohot asan hai, but karna bohot kathin hai. Lekin kathin, itna bhi kathin nahi ki aap nahi kar sakte. Yesu masi ke naam mein sab kuch sambhav hai. Yesu Christ ke naam se sab kuch sambhav hai. Aur aap, वाकी में कर सकते हैं बन सकते हैं दिखा सकते हैं दे सकते हैं मेरे प्रिय दोस्तों मेरे प्रिय माताओं पिताओं भाई और बहनों दे फॉर आई ऑलवेज से इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी लाइक क्राइस्ट यू मस्ट फॉर लाइक क्राइस्ट यू मस्ट लाव लाइक क्राइस्ट यू मस्ट स्पीक लाइक क्राइस्ट थिंक लाइक क्राइस्ट एंड दर्स वट वी रीड इन फिलिपियंस टू फाइव Saint Paul says, let your mind must be the mind of Christ or have the same mind of Christ who being God, being the son of God became humble and obedient unto death and death on a cross and therefore God has highly exalted him. Do you want to be exalted like that? Let us ask ourselves, my dear brothers and sisters, only we always seek to love our own people or our own category or maybe our own caste, our own clan, our own relatives. But today's gospel, Jesus is telling, if you do that one, what more you are doing, man? Anybody can, any fool can do. Any fool is doing, you are also doing the same thing. But do something extraordinary. Go out of your way. Break the boundary. Go beyond the boundary and do. Then you will be perfect. Today you and I are called to be perfect like the heavenly father. Christians are called to be perfect because Jesus is all perfection. Christians cannot be called to 50-50. 50-50 means the shaka. Huh? Raja, Babu, Dedo, Das Rupiah, Allah ke naam, Is ke naam, the cha. We call in the train and buses when you tra travel that eunuchs they come. They are called 50 50s, but you and I are not called to be 50 50s. We are called to be 100 percent perfection. I came so that they may have life and have it abundant in fullness. John 10 10. And that we have to be today. And this is possible only when you go beyond yourself, go beyond yourself, break the barriers of all that is there. To love your brothers and sisters. And most importantly. To love your enemies. To pray for those who persecute. And to forgive and get reconciled. Don't forget my dear brothers and sisters. Forgiveness and reconciliation. Goes hand in hand. They are the 
टू साइड ऑफ द सेम कॉइन माई डियर ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स यू मे से आई हैव फॉर गिवन बट यू हैव नॉट गॉट रेकनसाइल्ड नो नो यूज and therefore the lord is asking us to have the heart of forgiveness the lord is asking us to have the heart of mercy and compassion when jesus has shown jesus has given infinite mercy and compassion he has shown to us why can't we do only receiving is enough ah, i got it then keep it in your pant pocket or shirt pocket no use you have to take out that one and give it to others therefore it is very easy to say but very difficult to practice but if you are filled with the spirit of christ if you are filled with the anointing of christ it will be very easier to do to forgive to love and to pray for one another most of the times we only pray for ourselves our need my need this need that need have you ever prayed for your brothers and sisters have you pray ever prayed for others have you ever thought about others and i would say if you even if you don't pray for yourself no problem but if you pray for others your prayers are already answered my dear brothers and sisters and therefore only praying for oneself okay i don't deny i don't uh, discourage you don't say that you don't pray for yourself don't have prayer life no i don't mean that but what i say not only pray for yourself but always try to pray for others especially pray for those people who have hurt you who have harmed you who have given you some pain and suffering sometimes when people give us pain and suffering or people betray us that becomes a lesson for us to learn to be better and to be perfect and that's what jesus is asking be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect and we have to be heroes and heroines of perfection never try to become 50 50 as i said 50 50 sir dos de ha uh, raja de do 10 rupya raja lao no christians are called to be heroes and heroines of perfection heroes and heroines of love heroes and heroines of forgiveness heroes and heroines of mercy heroes and heroines of loving one another and other specially the so called enemies my dear brothers and sisters but to have this we must we need we ought to have jesus therefore i always say this formula earn jesus own jesus e o formula e o formula first earn jesus have jesus possess him then second own jesus if you have earned jesus owned jesus then definitely you will be able to become like jesus and you will be able to forgive like jesus love like jesus pray like jesus and think like jesus act like jesus behave like jesus talk like jesus therefore e o formula don't forget e o un jesus own jesus then you will be able to forgive and love one another because as christians we are called to love one another and that's what jesus has given us before he left for heaven john chapter 13 verse 34 love one another as i have loved you also john 15 chapter 15 verse 12 love one another as i have loved you and there is no greater love verse 13 than this to lay down one's life for his or her friends my dear brothers and sisters and please find time to read first letter of saint paul to the corinthians chapter 13 chapter 13 the whole chapter speaks about love and today we are called to love one another love our enemies forgive one another forgive our enemies pray for those who persecute us and therefore i say let us become the heroes the real heroes and heroines of love
the real heroes and heroines of forgiveness the real heroes and heroines of mercy let us become heroes and heroines in jesus with jesus for jesus may the lord bless us amen abba father let us be your son your zelo set our hearts our spirits free make us lord your own through your goodness lord we bring bread of all labor and wine to share the heart which will soon be filled for us with the life of your son abba father let us be your son your zelot set our hearts our spirits free make us lord your own take this drop of water to sign of our weakness a symbol of our love by his mingling marriage your divinity abba father let us be yours and yours alone set our hearts our spirits free make us loyal pray my dear brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church o god who in the offerings presented here provide for the two fold needs of human nature nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament grant we pray that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for just as through your beloved son you created the human race so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew and so it is right that all your creatures serve you all the redeemed praise you and all your saints with one heart bless you therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim holy 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 lord of god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory Hosanna in the highest blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest my dear brothers and sisters as we are entering into the most important significant part of our holy mass let us with devotion faith and trust enter into it wherever you are there all those who are participating online i request all of you to kneel down you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion 
he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope antony pola our archbishop and cardinal all the cardinals bishops clergy faithful religious and the entire people your son has gained for you remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with saint joseph her most chaste spouse with the blessed apostles saint antony of padua and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coys to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ with one heart one mind and one voice let us praise and glorify the triune god through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and all honor is yours forever and ever at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father what who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name, name thy, thy kingdom come thy will, will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the power and glory of his universe now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins on our unforgiving attitudes on unfaithfulness and holiness and wretchedness but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace and joy of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, who take over the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take over the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take over the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, who is inviting us, giving us an opportunity to love our enemies, to forgive one another, and to become perfect as the Heavenly Father is. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my, my roof. roof. But, but only, only say, say the, the word, word and my soul, and my soul shall, shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry. All who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. I who made the stars of night, I will make the darkness bright. Who will bear my life to them? Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord, if you lead me. I will hold your people in my heart. I, the Lord, have snow and rain. I have borne my people's pain. I have had for love of them. They turn away. I will beg the house of stone. Give them us for love alone. I will speak my word to them. Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord. Is it I, Lord? I have heard you calling in the night. I will go alone if you lead me. I will hold your people in my hand. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the sight of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your sacred wounds, hide me. Permit me never to be separated from you. From the malignant enemy, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me. And bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Holy Father, keep in your name those you have given me, 
that they may be one as we are one, says the Lord. Let us pray. As this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty Eternal God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to you, God.